guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here um i know i've recently got some new subscribers so thank you for being here subscribing and i hope you stick around so this video is to share with you the handy stitch uh handheld sewing machine that i hauled from timu and i will have the link to this as well as a coupon code um, in my description box so, um, this was $7 and some change, I believe it was. It was on sale for. Um, um, it says it's an As Seen on TV product. Let's see. Um, it tells you it includes bobbin and thread. Bobbin with thread and needle. Um, the power of a big machine even sews through denim. Repairs delicate fabrics like silk. Battery powered. See, denim silk crafts, drapes. Um, let's see. Uses four AA batteries not included. It says free bonus spindle, uh, needle threader, two extra needles, three extra bobbins with thread. So, fun, uh, fun little thing here, and I'm super glad I was able to grab this. I was so excited when I found it. Alright, so this is the sewing machine. So, you hold it upright like this, and that's the button on top. So... You get this, and it already has a, uh, I forgot what you call that, <laughs> the little spool, and it's already threaded for you, um, which is, first, that's super important to me, because some of these are threaded differently, so I like that it was already threaded, so that I know how to re-thread it, and I'm going to go over that also. So, it came with this fabric in the machine uh, with some stitching on it and I did a few practice uh, runs on that also so it came with this bag this little bag and these instructions so it gives you a diagram of all the parts so you've got the little wick just on a sewing machine you a regular sewing machine you would have a knob on the side here to turn um, and that is what this little wheel is here. So, so you, you can see it's going up and down. Yeah, going up and down as I spin it. And I like to use that um, when I'm ending something. If, I, you know, I don't want to go too far. I just need another stitch or two. I will use this to just get my last couple of stitches. So, and it has all the directions on here. Um how to lift the fastening plate, um, everything you need to know, how to unlock it and lock it, uh, how to put the batteries in. See, it also shows you how to use the needle threader. And there's also a diagram down here telling you how to thread it. Uh, but the pictures are kind of small. And it was hard for me to do with these nails, so I'm not going to put you guys through that for this video. But I will show you... Um, where it goes through the machine to thread it. It tells you also how to replace the needle, how to install a normal thread, how to adjust the tension. And I believe this little white knob here is the tension. So it turns left or right. Let's see. Um, I think I already said batteries. Yes. So... You get this, and I'm going to hold on. I keep all instructions just in case anything ever happens. And what I need to know is on the paper. So I have like a little bin where I keep all instructions to everything that's a device. All right. So it came with, in this bag, we have, let's see if I can, well, I cannot open it with these nails. I should have had Billy open this for me. Or Corby. Oh, there we go. Alright, so in this bag, you get a needle threader. I'm not a big fan of this kind of threader. So it's just the tiny hook on the end there. I like the one with the loop on the end that you stick through the needle. But you get your needle threader. Uh, here is an extra uh, needle 
stuck in some cardboard here. If you ever need to replace your needle. And I like that they stuck it in some cardboards. And then you have, so there's a short spool, uh, spin, is it spindle? I'm not sure. So there's a short, um, you know, one on here, and then you get this long one if you want to use a regular size, uh, bobbin. Bobbin? Is it bobbin? Spool of thread. Okay, yeah, so, um, and then you also get this little bobbin of cream. This one of, uh, this dark blue. So that's in the first little bag. I'm going to set this stuff to the side. And then you get an extra bag. That has more little goodies in it. Oh. So this bag has a spool of white. And they filled it up pretty good for you. It's full, so you get another white. Here is a dark green. You get an orange. A red. And then here is a brown. I guess um, these are more common colors, like for clothing or um, like drapes. Oh, and here's another. It is a darker blue, almost black. So there's that's the difference in those two. So those are the ones you get in that bag. And then you get 10 safety pins. So that's a nice little addition. And then you get a little um, cloth tape measure. It looks like it goes up to 45 inches. And then you also get these little, um, little baby snippet scissors. The little... Looks like that need to be straightened up, but you get some little snippet scissors. Those are so cute. I don't usually use those, but they're nice to have. And, um, so the battery compartment is on the bottom here. It just slides open. Four AA batteries. And I wanted to mention, um, so at first I didn't have new batteries, so I took batteries out of something else and put them in here. And it worked, but it was slow. And I thought, I mean, not slow, but good for starting out. Um, and I put new ones in it, and it goes a lot faster now, uh, which I'll show you here in a minute, and you'll be able to hear it. Sounds like a sewing machine. I was surprised um, that so much sound comes out of something so small, but... You know, it is what it is. It's mechanical. You know, it makes sounds. It's just whatever. It doesn't really bother me. Um, so, this is the power button on the top. And this is a lock. So, when it's pushed forward, that button will not press. You slide it back. And then it will press. So, I like that it has a built-in lock. Um, and then over here. So, this is what I wanted to talk about as far as threading it. So, you have your bobbin on here. Your thread is going to go to the left. Up through the bottom of this hole. Around this. Uh, the tension. So this little thing kind of opens up. And your thread goes in there. And then if you turn it over. I'm not sure if you can see. There's a little C hook up in there. And you want to. Put your thread around the C. You just put it right through the C. It's almost like an. It's, you know, to the left, the openings to the right, so you just hook it through like a, like a fish hook, and then you thread through the back of your needle, so, let's see if you can see that. The little C hook is up in there, and then you thread through the back of your needle, you make sure your thread goes through the plate, and that's where you can lift up, and it'll catch once you start sewing. So you can pick up on the side or on the front. And um, there's a few stitching stitches here. That came on the little fabric. And I do have a few pieces of paper here I'm going to uh, show you. So this one I have an acetate that I'm going to do some stitching on. This is regular um, 
regular weight cardstock, I guess like 65 pound. And then I have a little piece of 110 pound cardstock. So first we're going to do this regular weight cardstock. So I'm going to lift my plate. It's still locked, just in case. So I'm going to lift my plate. And I'm going to line my foot up, if you can see the foot, right there at the edge of my cardstock. And that's going to be my guide as for going across and uh, keeping it even. So I'm going to slide my to unlock. And this is a little loud, so just beware. And you can see there, it takes some practice, so it's not perfectly straight. Um, and if that's too fast for you, maybe you want to try like I did. Put in used batteries, used um, out of something else maybe, and it will go slower than that did just now. Um, and that was that was easier for me starting off, having it go a little slower so I could get the hang of it. Um, and I'm not a pro at it yet. It's not perfectly straight. but So I'm going to go on to the end here. And when I get this little petal, the end of that petal is where I'm going to take my paper to. And I don't want to go too far, so I am going to use this little wheel here. And it's going to turn it for me. Or move over for another stitch. So now I'm at the edge of that paper. I mean at the edge of that little petal there. So now I'm going to turn my paper. And now it's going to be lined up exactly at the edge of that foot, just like I started out. So now I'm going to start stitching again. I think I got close enough. Turn it. Nope, not close enough. Oh, I went off. I'll go ahead and pull that out. So, it does take some practice. Where are my scissors? And I messed up there up at the end, so that's why my thread's coming undone. It will not do that when you just pull it out and stop stitching. So, there it is on regular cardstock. I will do it also on this uh, heavyweight cardstock. And I have already used this. Oh, you want to make sure your needle is up as high as it'll go when you lift your plate. So there, I'm going to put it under my plate. Turn. And then I'm going to turn this to get the needle up out of there, pull, and then it just really just snaps. So you can see it's stitched just fine through the heavyweight cardstock as well. And then let's do a little piece of this acetate. And I just wanted to, just to show you that it will go through paper. So I know it's, most sewing machines are made for fabric, you know. Um, but a lot of us do stitching on our paper crafts. And I bought this for paper crafts, so that's why I'm showing you on papers. All right, here we go. That was not straight. Okay, and because it's acetate, you can see the back stitch, which I'm not very... I'm not too keen on that. So you can see, you can see that back stitch through there because it's acetate. But I think it kind of gives it a fun look. And this is going to be so fun to do with uh, gold thread. And you don't have to just pull it like I did. You can just cut it. So yeah, those are the my little examples. I think this is a really good tool um, especially for the price. If 
you don't want to invest in a large machine. Um, I do have a regular sewing machine, but I don't have the space to always bring it out for my projects when I want to, nor a place to keep it out. So, um, I was really excited when I came across this. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll check this out for yourself if you're interested. Like I said, I'll have a link in the description box, as well as a coupon code for you guys. And that is it for now. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.